And we finally reached the very last point, my watch suggestions. By the way, I do a review of all the watches I buy. You can see those review on my unboxing channel. That's another channel I have. So I'll leave you a link in the description if you want to access the playlist and see all of them. If I were you and about to buy a new watch, I would take a look at that if you want to know what to expect. So I will recommend three watches according to your needs and without a surprise, they are three Garmin's. In my opinion, they just do the best watches, so I won't see myself recommend anything else. And if you want to buy one of those watches, you can use the link in the description. And if you do it, thank you. It's the very same price for you, but I receive a commission out of it. And it's thanks to those income that I'm able to make those kind of video, like this one you've just watched that I work on since over a year now. So every year, my favorite series of watch is the Garmin Phoenix. It's the watch per excellence without compromise. It pretty much do everything or maybe almost everything I just talked about in that video. It is made with quality materials. It is by far the best navigation tool. I have nothing but praise for this series of watch with each new model. It also offer a great diversity in the choice of color and even size. The Phoenix series also has some brother models which meet more specific needs such as the Apex which has an AMOLED screen or the Enduro with its huge battery to track you even longer and finally the Tactics which meet certain military needs. This is the one I carry on my wrist every day. I chose it simply because I think it looked better. It's one of the most expensive series of watches but believe me, if you do sport quite often and especially if you do a lot of outdoor activities, it will become a part of you. The next model is the Forerunner 900. And there, be careful when I say 900. Forerunners are kind of hard to follow. With the Phoenix, it's simple. You've got the one, two, three, and now we've reached seven. In the Forerunner, you kind of have four series, one in the 900, another one in the 700, the other one in the 200, and the other one is below 100. If I'm not mistaken, it always finish by 5, and they go up by 10. So the one I tested was the Forerunner 945, which is now a legacy model because they released the 955. So after 945, it's 955. So probably the next one will be 965. Anyway, basically you will find substantially the same features as the Phoenix series, but in a plastic case. This therefore reduces costs, but also the weight of your watch. Finally, the model that I recommend to everyone that is not ready to put so much money on a watch is the Garmin Instinct. If you can afford the latest generation model, go for it. But the first generation is still on sale and at such a ridiculous price for everything it does. Really, in terms of capacity, it is comparable to a watch that sells for 5 to 10 times the price. Be careful, I didn't say as good, I said comparable. In my opinion, its only real con is the look. But that's a matter of taste. Well, I've just gave you my personal suggestion, but as I told you at the beginning, everybody has its personal needs. So still, use your good judgment with all the information I've just give you to make your choice. I allow myself to talk you about those three models because they are really very versatile. This video was an extract of the most complete sport watch purchase guide on YouTube. If you want to see the full video, you can click just right here. And if you want to see the other extracts, you can click just right there. Otherwise, if you're ready to buy your own watch, you can follow my link in the description. And now would be the time to click somewhere. Like right now.